Hello, those super deformed collectors. So I was at a shopping mall and there was one of those kiosks that sells, you know, cheap toys. And uh, by chance, they, this person had these Kins, Kins Fun cars. I'd never heard of it before. But I look at the front end and it actually has plastic headlights. So I decided to buy it because it was like $3. Why not, right? Have a little fun. So it turns out, you know, a little research here looking at the bottom. It says Kins Fun. And so they have a line of these Stepside Junior trucks and they come in different colors. And they also have a Volkswagen van and I think some other classic uh, cars that are cartooned, you know, tuned out versions. It's a pullback motor system, you know, you can put, well actually, you can't put a coin back here so it can't do wheelies but, but it will take off if you want it to take off and play with it. You can unscrew it, it's actually got some tire treads. These are rubbery tires. It looks a little big compared to Choro Q's, but again, it was cheap and it looked pretty good with the plastic headlights. So this is a 1955 Chevy Chevy Task Force truck. You know, that's what they're modeling it after. And it, I think it looks pretty good. It's pretty close, right? They even have the little wiper blades here. So let's take a look here. This angle, you know how they have the sloped forward uh, A pillar as well, so that matches up. It's a step side, just like that as well. It's got some hubcap looking wheels. And then here's the back view. So they have the round tail lights, and this license plate actually says 1955, and then they have the Chevrolet, so the, the bumper actually comes down just sort of like that, so it's actually a pretty good rendition. All right, let's take a closer look here. So you got the giant oversized hubcap wheels. I think a little black uh, paint wash will help bring out the details of those slots. And then it seems to have some text here on this side. Let me try to get in on that and see what we can read. Chevrolet 3100, okay. I'm not sure why the V is way down here. Uh, I can't see on the real truck. Well, I'm not sure, but it looks like there's a molded in line here. Well, that matches the photograph. There's a little silver here, well I'm assuming that's a fuel filler. And then the protruding uh, door handle. It's like a cream white here, an off white color. It's kind of having a hard time filling in the casting back there. Going to the front, yeah, raised, painted, uh, Wiper blades. Now, this might be the very first model I've seen that has chromed wiper blades. So they actually chromed the whole thing, you know, the surround. It's very realistic looking. I, I haven't seen a chromed uh, window molding on the premium brands even, so that's pretty, pretty cool. Here's the Chevy bow tie in red. And then again, a chromed grill. It looks nice. A little black texture there. And yeah, clear headlights looking good and then chrome a chrome ring around them silver on these little bumps here they even have bumps for the rivet marks to hold the chrome bumper on and the bumper is a separate piece it's not part of the casting there's the printing on this side all right and then the back we have a separate bumper with rivets again uh, it's nice to see a license plate you know some red paint for the taillights and then the chevrolet is nicely molded yeah, it's a chip there. All right, and then the bed, it's a separate color, like a, I don't know, an off-white again, but we have some chrome rub strips. And then the rear window also has a chrome trim around it. The interior, let me get a flashlight here. Yeah, black steering wheel. It's better than the Hot Wheels, it seems, you know. Hot Wheels usually don't have hollow steering wheels, so. Yeah, it's better than Hot Wheels, I think. Actually, is there a door handle? No, it's just a plain door. There's a door panel, but no handle or wind down. So I can see. All right. Yeah, little slots here in front of the windshield. You know, for vents to go into the cabin, I guess. So that's it. It's pretty cool. I mean, sure, it looks like a cartoon, but if you actually look at the amount of work put into this, it's pretty good. I'm, I'm actually very impressed. It's, yeah, it's better than the Hot Wheels. 
I mean, Hot Wheels don't have separate bumpers, right? They don't have plastic headlights. I mean, this actually is better than some green lights in Auto Worlds. So, pretty funky. Alright, let's compare it to a couple other trucks here. Mm, let me get one of these larger spinner things. start this time around. Alright, let's compare it to some normal, more normal looking vehicles. Here's a Hot Wheels, it's the La Troca. And uh, I put some alloy wheels from that Word C brand of wheels on there. And I think it looks pretty good, you know, matching that Art Deco style. Uh, that's it really uh, for the that genre of vehicle so the only other truck I'm going to pull out today is a more realistic looking uh, 79, 1976 GMC and this is from M2 Machines it's the Desert Fox livery it's pretty cool and all I, I like it alrighty so let's take a look at the top views here yeah you can see it's definitely a foreshortened uh, vehicle you know, comparing to the Hot Wheels lengthwise, let's compare it to those. It's not quite half as short. Maybe three quarters shorter. But the width is generally the same. And this is actually a little taller. But I also feel it's probably because the wheels are absolutely massive. Look how tall those wheels are. I mean, they're bigger than the tires of an M2 machine. So, alright, that's it for the more realistic looking trucks. I have some Choro cues to pull out. So there's a Hummer H2, a Toyota Mega Cruiser, and then the last one is a, I think it's a Peterbilt truck. It doesn't really say what it is, but it looks like a Peterbilt. All right, you know what? Actually, let's pull put these next to each other so we can compare the size of Choro cues. So it seems bigger than a Choro Q for sure. It's definitely longer and it's taller. Look at the cabin. Again, I think it's because the wheels are so so big. If it actually had smaller wheels, it might ride, you know, a lot lower. Mm, makes me wonder if I should do a wheel swap. But if I put smaller diameter wheels on, you know, it's going to reduce the gap with the fender wheel or it's going to actually increase the, the tire gap in the fender wheels although those fenders wells are really filled in with these giant tires so eh, we'll see what happens okay well so guys kin smart if you're into the cartooned look pretty good pretty good model i'm, I'm really impressed uh, I looked at the Volkswagen van at that same little kiosk store, and it looked even bigger than this. That's why I passed on it. I'm trying to keep the stuff similar in size to Choro Q, since, since that seems to be like a standardized uh, cartoon size or tuned ver size of a uh, model. All right, well, I'm not sure if I'll get this brand again, but uh, I do think this is worth picking up if you guys are into it. I uh, will see you around. Thanks for watching.